Hi, my name is Robert Mendel and I will present our work on semi-supervised segmentation based on error correcting supervision. Semantic segmentation is the task of classifying each pixel in a given image and is an important part of computer vision. Supervised segmentation has been successfully applied to different vision problems. But since, in comparison to supervised classification, labels for each pixel in the image are required, the labeling process is costly in terms of time and effort. This is especially critical in domains where the labeling cannot easily be outsourced and has to be done by experts, like for example medical imaging. Semi-supervised segmentation tries to alleviate the cost of labeling data by incorporating additional unlabeled images during the optimization process. This is in contrast to weekly supervised segmentation where either image level or bounding box annotations are utilized. Our proposed method for semi-supervised segmentation leverages a collaborative strategy between two separate networks. Apart from the supervised training on labeled data, the segmentation network is judged by an additional correction network. On labeled data, this secondary model learns to spot correct predictions as well as to amend incorrect ones. The corrector directly influences the supervised training of the segmentation network. On unlabeled data, the outputs of the segmentation and correction network are combined to form a new target. We propose a loss function that incorporates both those pseudo-labels as well as the predictive certainty of the correction network. The correction network is trained with two types of input data, the pairs of image ground truth as well as image and its corresponding segmentation act as inputs for the corrector. We generate the required targets by comparing the segmentation with the ground truth and assigning a new label to all regions that were predicted accurately. For all incorrect predictions, the labels are set to the ground truth. As mentioned earlier, the corrector is also trained on the image ground truth pairs. And as per definition, the ground truth matches the image, so the corresponding targets are exclusively filled with the added class. These specific targets result in very unbalanced label distributions. A possible result could be the corrector always predicting the additional class unrelated to the input, since on average this would result to highly accurate predictions. To circumvent this case, we apply a weighted loss function to amplify the contribution of the loss on the original labels. Apart from a standard supervised objective, the segmentation network is constrained to produce outputs the corrector interprets as accurate. This interaction between both models signifies their collaborative relationship. With improving segmentation quality, the targets for the correction network approach those the segmentation network is constrained on, so the goals of both models align. On unlabeled data, the outputs of the segmentation and correction networks are combined. The segmentation of an unlabeled image and its subsequent correction form the pseudo-labels. To update the segmentation network, we propose a weighted loss function that incorporates the certainty of the corrector in its prediction. The intention here is to downweight high entropy regions present within the pseudo-labels. We evaluate our model with a deep lab and ResNet-based architecture on the Pascal and Cityscapes dataset. We limit the number of labeled data to one eighth, a quarter and half the amount for the different runs. In each trial, error correcting supervision outperforms the supervised baseline. With one eighth the labeled data, the performance is similar to supervised training with quarter of the labels. In comparison to other methods with the same segmentation architecture applied, Error correcting supervision consistently improves over the competition. With a more advanced architecture, the performance advantage remains. Now let's take a closer look at how the different components influence the overall loss. Dropping the constraint on the segmentation network to produce outputs the corrector accepts as accurate has only a minor effect on the performance. This shows that most of the advantage stems from the incorporation of the unlabeled data and is not an artifact of the constraint in the supervised objective. 
This is signified that when just the constraint is present, without the unlabeled data, there is only a lesser improvement over the supervised baseline. Using just the pseudo-labels without including the certainty of the corrector leads, in the case of the Pascal dataset, to a performance regression below the supervised baseline. This highlights the importance of our proposed loss. To gain more understanding of why error correcting supervision is effective, we evaluate the Spearman correlation between the correction network accepting the output as accurate and the actual truth on the labeled as well as unlabeled data. The presence of an overall positive correlation implies that the combination of both outputs provides a good approximation for the unknown truth. So, in summary, our contributions are as follows. An approach for semi-supervised segmentation leveraging two networks without the need for weakly labeled data, where the task of the second model is defined as fine-grained error correction. An augmented loss function which utilizes both the secondary model's prediction and the certainty in it to adaptively adjust the contributions when training on unlabeled data. An end-to-end -end approach which can augment the training of existing segmentation networks and is not reliant on post-processing during validation.